Right, so I wanted to make a video about the things that I've learned from traveling. I think I've been to 35 countries now on four continents and had a lot of great experiences, learned a lot, and just wanted to kind of re reflect and share some of those things with you in this vid. So first thing I wanted to talk about was just the uh, fulfillment that you get from traveling. And at least for me, when I first started traveling and just seeing new places, having new experiences, getting pictures, posting them, it was, it was very, it was really fulfilling. And, and I thought that's just, and I was just like, Oh my God, I love traveling. And I thought that was just kind of how it would always be when you travel. And, uh, but the more places that I went to, I started to kind of ask myself, you know, what I was really doing, like, what was the point uh, of all of it? And, and it seems like the more places I, I went to, the less fulfilled I would be by just going to another place. So I kind of learned that just, just traveling just for the sake of travel isn't really enough um, to like sustain you as far as feeling fulfilled when you go someplace. Uh, but one way that, so I've kind of come to realize that the best way to deal with that is instead of just going and traveling just to get the Instagram pictures and just to have another, another country on the list of places you've been, like it's a lot better to go travel somewhere and have a purpose, like either a mission trip or like a humanitarian kind of thing or going for work or you're going to go climb a mountain or, you know, just something that gives your, your trip purpose other than just going, just traveling, just to travel. You're just a tourist and you're not getting as much as you can out of that experience, especially once you've done, once you've been to a lot of places, it just, uh, it's like incrementally less satisfying to just go there and get the pictures, you know? So what I would recommend is even before you've been to a lot of places, like when you plan on going to a place, go somewhere with the intention with like, with, go somewhere with a goal, uh, you know, some sort of project or, or thing that you want to accomplish while you're there. Cause without that mission, um, after a while, you're just going to have, you're just gonna start asking yourself, you know, why am I here? I'm just privileged enough to have the money to buy the ticket and have the time to just hang out in this place. And, and yeah, it's just, it's not going to be enough. Like you're, you're going to get the most out of something when you, when you have purpose behind your trip. So yeah, that was just like the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about. And I've never really heard anyone talk about that before. Uh, and so maybe if you have a similar experience or you disagree, uh, maybe leave a, a comment below. But so other than that, um, I've realized that, that it doesn't matter. The place you're at doesn't really matter that much. Like you can have the time of your life in some podunk town in the middle of the desert if the people that you're with are cool and you're in a good mind state and like you can basically what I'm trying to say is you can have fun. You can have the time of your life wherever you're at. The location doesn't matter. So if you're stuck in your town and you hate being there, going somewhere else isn't going to actually make your life better in the long run. Like if you can't have a good time where you're at, then just changing the location isn't going to make much of a difference. If you stay, if you picked the place that you thought, you know, the perfect place on earth, if you stayed there long enough, you would end up being right back at, right back at your, the happiness level that you're at now. You know, maybe, and that's, that's just the, how much the location has to do with it. Now, Sometimes, you know, if the place that you live and work, if you're surrounded with people that you don't get along with, that you don't like being around, then, you know, maybe 
changing changing the people that you're you're hanging out with can definitely improve your life but the location itself or the things to do in that location there's always something to do you can have you can be creative and have a good time but so yeah basically what I'm trying to say is is don't think that just going like the place that you're at sucks and if you just if you just went to an, another place it would all be better cuz it won't be cuz you're still the same person and people are going to treat you probably pretty much the same way that they're treating you now like if people are treating you bad now it's probably because you deserve it for the most part or or maybe you don't deserve it but things that you've done have taught people to treat you that way and so yeah just think about that a little bit and let's see another thing is like there's good people in every single part of the world I think that the distribution of of good people to assholes is probably about the same no matter what culture what country wherever you're at I would say like 95% of people are generally just like decent people. Now there's that 5% of people that can ruin your experience anywhere you're at. And you know, it's a good idea to not, uh, to try, you know, it's a good idea to try not to run in, into those people. But even those 5% of assholes, they're not assholes all the time. Like, people that are assholes are nice to some people, right? So if you give an asshole a reason to be good to you, then they probably will be good to you. But if you give an asshole a reason to be bad to you, they're definitely going to be bad to you. And so it's, it's, it's not, it's just not all people. It's so easy to say, Oh, everyone in this part of the country is an asshole or, Oh, I don't like this group of people or this person, whatever. But, Really, like, I think if you, if you take some responsibility in your own actions and the way you treat people, you'll find that you end up being treated well wherever you go. And, and uh, you'll learn to see the good in people everywhere. And that's one thing that traveling uh, really helped me realize is that there is no best country in the world. There is no like group of people that really suck as a group uh there's just always individual assholes everywhere that kind of ruin it for everyone and obviously in countries where there's not a lot of structure um you know third world countries where you don't have a police force a judicial system the rights all that kind of stuff if you live in a chaotic environment that gives those that five percent who are assholes it gives them an opportunity to kind of run amok and um, and not a get, not it, it lets those assholes get away with things um, that they wouldn't be able to get away with if they were in a more structured country. So yeah, it's not it's not the people's fault is is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's see what else have I learned. Hmm. Yeah, so find a purpose wherever you're traveling. Have a mission, a goal. Don't just travel just to travel. Two, the location doesn't matter so much as the people you're with, your own mind state. And three, there's good people and assholes everywhere and the distribution's about the same. The only thing that's different is the structure of the country that allows people to do certain bad things um, where other countries uh, you wouldn't have that. Three lessons I've learned. I'll probably think of some more after I turn this off, but that's a good start. Uh, comment, let things that you've learned. Um, maybe we could have some sort of discussion. And uh, yeah, take care.